on this vlog, we will talking about Ichiban Kuji, Happy Kuji, the prices that I have accumulated in the six years I have stayed here in Japan, their quality, and all about them. Yeah, ho, oh, welcome back to Video Game Figure Collector, and as always, I am your Pinoy Otaku in Japan, but not in Tokyo, Hage Potato bringing you geeky stuff and geeky discussions regarding life and collecting video games and toys here in Japan. And this is about Kuji. Now, I have only played two particular Kujis, Ichiban Kuji and Happy Kuji, and these are available in convenience stores like 7-Eleven, Lawson, Mini Stop, and Family Mart. They are also available in select uh, establishments that have geeky stuff on them, mainly Wonder Goo and Geo Hyper Media Store. Now, if you are wondering what they really are, the the easiest explanation for them is they are real life loot boxes. They're like Gachapon. You have a price pool, uh, prices that are either uh, placed with indication of numbers or letters on their display on their display stand that would indicate what prices are possible to be able to win on them. Now, the uh, the way to be able to play this game is that you go and grab something like a, a cord that has written on them then you go to the cashier and the cashier will ask you nan kai desu ka? nan mai desu ka? which would mean how many times or how many pull are you gonna do which means how many chances would you want to try now, the prices for this range from the 600, 600 yen all the way up to 900 yen depending on the price pool. So, they range from anime, video game merchandise, or any particular geeky stuff that are popular currently on the market. Now here we are at Geo Hyper Media Shop. As you could see, they have a dedicated Ichiban Kuji stall here. You could see here the different cards that you would take into the cashier for you to be able to play Ichiban Kuji. So what you need to do is just take one of these cards and uh, take it to the cashier. Then you could actually check here. This is where uh, they would place a sticker if a certain price has already been claimed. Like there you could see here there's an e and on this one uh, you could check that almost all of the prices are already claimed so only the ones without without the said uh, the said sticker could uh, could still be won so check those out first before you actually play the game okay time to check out all the prices that i have accumulated in the years that i have been trying to play this game so this is a g price from the legend of zelda series when they release they re-release uh ichiban kuji with the number one price as a, as a uh, master sword i so this is the second one i got now i also got a master fork for my third uh for my third pool now next one that we tried to get was when persona 5 was released so we got a towel over here i was trying to get the the joker price and after the towel we got this uh drinking glass which i think is actually quite cool and i haven't used this i i act i haven't used this for drinking yet so it's still sealed as you can see here now on another pool we got this uh, uh morgana and antakamaki uh folders so not really winning <laughs> so i tried also tried the happy kuji this is for a brick price for superman and batman I got the uh, poster so this one is contains the Superman poster now this one even though I kind of lost I 
was a little bit happy with what I got. These are uh, coasters that you, I actually placed them on the panel of my car. So whenever I'm driving, I feel like I'm, I'm playing Mario Kart. And here's the only one that I actually got a jackpot from playing Ichiban Kuji. I got the A prize when Kingdom Hearts 3 was released. I only uh, played it once. I got the A prize. I was really happy and stoked that I got this one. So counting all of the things that I got, uh, we're looking at around 10% chance of winning. So that's that. I might be doing a review about this a little bit later down the line when I have cleared out uh, all of the other stuff that I want, all the other content that I, wa I want to to put out. But uh, overall, that's all the things that I have was able to accumulate by playing Ichiban Kuji. I, I am not really a person who likes to play much. I don't even go to casinos. I don't do pachinkos. But uh, the reason why I, I have tried doing Ichiban Kuji uh, throughout the years is because of that rare chance or rather the experience that I would like to have playing this game. And in doing so, I was able to provide this type of content. And we will be doing uh, Ichiban Kuji on camera a little bit later. Anyway, as you have probably noticed on on what I have shown you earlier that we actually got a lot of trash. Well, not really trash, it comes from perspective to perspective, but if you were only going to be aiming for the A, A or B prize which have uh, which usually are the ones with the figures and um the figures and the prices that are really showpieces or the star of the the lottery then that's uh, roughly around 10 percent chance of you actually getting those prices based on what i have experienced doing them from time to time now also one of the reasons why uh, i'm really glad that i only focus on video game related stuff because if all, I also have tried uh, tried playing for the anime, the anime Ichiban Kujis, I would most probably be left with a lot of utensils and a lot of toiletries that I won't even be able to use. Now, uh, on our next part, I would let's check out the quality of uh, these price figures that I have bought from secondhand shops. Now, the sec as you have seen on my previous uh, on my toy hunts, that I ha I actually really focus on trying to find this Ichiban Kuji prices because uh, their uh, quality is a little bit higher than what we would get from the UFO catcher prices. Also, um, that is one of the joys of the toy hunts because when I do my toy hunts, I tend to be able to find this figures that are really reasonably priced or way below SRP. So let's check this. Now here we have the Ichiban Kuji Joker when the Persona 5 was first released and this is the last one version of it where he's taking off his mask. There are other versions that they also have is the one where his mask is attached but I prepare this version better and as you could see here it's very well sculpted. I like the simple base and everything looks just quite right now moving along here we have yuri lowell uh one thing that i hated about this figure is that huge seam line over his head this is from the tales ichiban kuji series uh 2 and you could also get a lloyd irving along with other tales uh, tale series protagonists along this line i got this for around 1500 yen and most of them are priced uh, around this range and now this is the smallest one that i got and this is actually the only g price that uh i bought figure wise because it's really really cute and i love eggy so much and out of all the figures in this line i like the g price eggs better than the a price because the a price has her covered with a dress so besides the second-hand market, you can actually also be able to find 
uh, find this Ichiban Kuji and Happy Kuji price figures from the establishments that actually lets you play this uh, particular Kuji. So, for example, I bought this one uh, for 2,000 yen from Wonder Goo. So this is from the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, this is, uh, of course, is Aries or Aerit. So which one you prefer? So uh, looking at the box, they are actually packaged really well. So that is one of the reasons why I am hunting down Ichiban Fuji and Happy Fuji price figures from the second hand. Uh, from the second hand stores now this is also one that we were able to find second hand now this is from the Neo 10th uh, anniversary Kuji now th uh, this is the B price this is 2B figure I forgot what the A price was maybe it's A uh, I don't know which which one was that I, I forgot but I only really wanted to get 2B and this is the much cheaper alternative than uh, trying to buy the Play Art Sky uh, because those go up in really those go up in price if you check out eBay or Mercari right now they are around uh, fifteen thousand to seventeen thousand all the way up to uh, twenty one uh, twenty one thousand yen. So second hand market is my best friend. Okay, now. It's time to show you guys uh, me trying to do uh, me trying to play Ichiban Kuji. As you could see, my luck is really not that good. I was trying to get either Wolverine or even just Professor X and Magneto, Omega Red, and what I got was Phoenix. So uh, I usually get the one that I am least excited about. But don't get me wrong, I love the whole the whole X-Men being a 90s kid and any of them are really nice nice figures to get. Uh, I'm just uh, a little bit surprised that I got the least the least expected price that I was aiming for. Uh, and any of them are actually really really awesome. You have seen Deadpool. So, um, that's why I do not promote gambling. Anyway, wait but wait, there's more. My wife is gonna try her luck, and one of the reasons she's trying her luck with this is she got excited that I tried to pull one. And also, she's gonna buy a matte lipstick. Mm -hmm. B. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as you have seen, based on that was the first time my wife actually tried uh, playing this Gucci games, and she got the B prize. So uh, the only the, there are only two prizes better than this one is that the big bear brick Wolverine and the uh, the jubilee uh, jubilee and rogue uh set pack so she was able to get this one yeah. which is ironically this is actually really cute because it's like uh me and her in a box but we're not really jean gray and cyclops because you know the story of that one 
anyway um that's it from me and all uh, and my blog regarding kuji i hope that you were able to learn something from this blog i hope i really hope that you enjoyed this content and i i am sorry if i'm gonna keep reminding you guys but please do hit the like hit the subscribe button and check out my channel for other geeky videos like toy hunts figure reviews some english support blogs regarding japanese games and some unboxing and thank you for watching this geek is out of here